Here they prepare the locomotives for the very harsh terrain I'm about to visit en route to the Sahara. Are you Khalid? Yes. Hello, I'm Chris. How are yes. you? I'm to see you. Is this the train, the locomotive, going to take me to... Yes, to Taza? yes. Diesel-powered like all the locos that run east from Fez, this mighty machine is due to pull the train that I'll be taking in an hour's time. It seems to be in good shape, but I want to be sure they're carrying out all the appropriate safety checks. Checks and tests we are doing now is to uh, guarantee safety uh -huh. and functional reliability. So for safety, we are uh, measuring wheels. You're measuring wheels? Yeah. Guarantee that all the wheels are correct. And that's before each trip? Yeah. Is it true, do you carry sand? Yeah. See, I find that bizarre, because you're going to the Sahara Desert, which has a lot of sand, yeah. and you have to take sand. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because we have many snails in winter uh, arriving on the rail. So when the train arrives, the locomotive is slipping because the of snails. the snails. No. So you release sand onto the rails yeah. when they're wet or they've got snails on them yeah. to get grip. Can, can right. you show us how, how does that work? What do we okay, do? Okay, we can do a test. Oh, I see. So the sand comes down. Yeah. Goes on the rail. It's just enough sand to bite. Exactly. We seem to be prepared for pretty much anything. And I've even scored a lift to the station. Ah, oh, this is good. Instead of waiting at Fez Station along with all the other hoi polloi, I'm actually going to be allowed to go in the locomotive. How cool is this? I've never done this before, up in the actual locomotive, as you come into a station to collect people from the platform. And we're bang on time. This is really, this is like being a, a proper railway man, which is what my great granddad did. <laughs> 